Hello, I'm people's historian Daniel Gray. Sometimes in history, one person's story tells the tale of thousands more. That's the case with Eduardo Palozzi, born here off the back of Leith Walk in 1924, and the Edinburgh Italians. I've long been interested in Edinburgh's Italians. My own wife is one. Why did they come here? Why? did they stay. The first major wave of Italians came here in the 1890s. By the time Eduardo Palozzi was born in 1924, his own family had been in Leith for three generations. In 1925, they moved here to 10 Albert Street and opened their ice cream shop at number 12, now the Sicilian pastry shop. The young Eduardo became obsessed with cigarette cards. He adored their bold, bright colours. They would inspire a lifetime's work. And then in 1940, Italy declared war on Britain and everything changed. Like all Italians, the Paolozzi family were declared enemy aliens. In the words of Winston Churchill, collar them all. Thousands of Italians were interned in prisoner of war camps. The reaction on the streets of Edinburgh was the stoning of Italian businesses like Paolozzi's family cafe. It was said that for years after the war, Valvona and Corolla kept their shutters down through the nights as a reminder of this period of intolerance towards the Italians. Paolozzi himself was thrown into Sockton jail. He was only 15 and he was born here, remember. In early July of 1940, the Arundora Star, an ex-cruise liner, was dispatched to Canada. On board were hundreds of prisoners of war, both German and Italian. Sometime on July the 2nd, it was torpedoed by a German U-boat off the northwest coast of Ireland. It went down almost immediately. Over 400 Italians drowned. Among them, Paolozzi's dad, grandpa, and uncle. Paolozzi seems to have turned his despair to artistic use. He attended night classes at the Edinburgh College of Art. He painted his way across the city, then to London and Paris. Very quickly his genius became clear. He was a world star. Palozzi was a surrealist, but he also inspired the pop art movement of Andy Warhol. He was famed for his bright colours and vivid imagery. Perhaps he was still inspired by those cigarette cards all those years ago when a laddie in Leith. Palozzi was famed too for his mosaics and collages, but most of all, his sculptures. I love that some of Paolozzi's sculptures are right here amidst the hustle and bustle of central Edinburgh. We're near too to the top of Leith Walk, that same Leith Walk where his great story started. That story is important because it speaks for all Edinburgh Italians in that he turned sour times into sweet ones. Through toil, through hard work, those Italians became part of the fabric of this wonderful city. They made a colossal contribution to its life.